The plane that crashed into a hillside in Boulder County Sunday was being used by a company that gives people tours along the front range. That crash killed all four people on board and started a wildfire. Here's 9 News reporter Mark Salinger. The company describes itself online as offering scenic air tours over Denver, Boulder and the mountains. Pictures of the plane that crashed Sunday in Boulder County are all over the web pages for Bluebird Aviation. The FAA says the plane with the tail number N337KN crashed into a mountain this weekend, killing the pilot and three other passengers on board. The tour company is based in Broomfield and flies out of Rocky Mountain Metropolitan Airport. The company has now deleted most of its social media pages and website and has not responded to Nine News' emails or calls. It's very rare to find a fixed wing or airplane um, in the mountains doing any kind of tours just because of the limited performance they have, especially during the summertime. First responders say the two engine plane erupted into flames when it crashed. Firefighters worked to stop the wildfire from spreading. Nine News aviation analyst Greg Fife says investigators will now dig through the site to try and find clues that survived the flames. When you look at the crash site, it's very contained, which suggests that that airplane had a lot of vertical energy and very little horizontal energy. Flight paths tracked online show the plane made similar flights often, sometimes flying multiple flights a day for around 40 minutes. The route takes people above Boulder, Denver and into the mountains. The plane made at least six similar trips in the past two weeks. There aren't many fixed wing or airplanes, if you will, uh, flying tour, uh, especially in the mountains because they're less maneuverable than the helicopters. In Denver, I'm Mark Salinger, 9 News. It took first responders more than a day to determine how many people were on board that plane. They said the reason was because the scene was too unsafe. Helicopters also called in to fight that fire caused by the crash. The fire was quickly put out.